Hello, and welcome to another vlog. I'd like to start off by sending my condolences to the people of Humboldt, Saskatchewan, following a devastating bus crash which killed 15 members of their junior hockey team. Uh, this was a terrible tragedy, and I can't imagine what the people of Humboldt are going through right now. This week's theme is multiple sclerosis. On Thursday, I'll be releasing an educational video where I talk more about what MS is, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see that video. But today, there is a number of things that I want to talk about. First, I want to address a common mix-up related to multiple sclerosis, and I also want to talk about some common treatments for the disorder. So, let's get started. Now, I myself do not have multiple sclerosis. Instead, I have another condition called muscular dystrophy, and I've talked about that a lot in this series. But one of the things that I've noticed as a person with muscular dystrophy is that a lot of people mix up multiple sclerosis with muscular dystrophy. Um, I can't count the number of times when I've told someone that I have muscular dystrophy and they assume that that's the same thing as multiple sclerosis. They'll ask, why do you use a wheelchair? And I'll say, oh, I have muscular dystrophy. And oftentimes they respond with, oh, multiple sclerosis or MS. Um, and it can be very frustrating because it's very difficult to explain to people what the difference between the two disorders are and clear up that misconception. Um, so I want to stress that both multiple sclerosis and muscular dystrophy are very serious health conditions, but they're also two completely different disorders. Um, multiple sclerosis is a, an autoimmune disorder that attacks the myelin, that's the protective covering of nerve cells, whereas muscular dystrophy is a neuromuscular disorder which is characterized by gradual muscle weakness. To put that another way, multiple sclerosis affects the nerves, whereas muscular dystrophy affects the muscles. Um, now, it's not good that people get muscular dystrophy and multiple sclerosis mixed up for two reasons, because not only is this harmful to people's understanding of both disorders, but it's also harmful to both causes. It's harmful to people's understanding um, because it's very difficult to explain to someone what the difference between muscular dystrophy and multiple sclerosis is when they've convinced themselves that they know more about your condition than you do. Um, and this can lead to a lot of harmful stereotypes about both MS and MD. Um, but it's also harmful to the causes. Um, because oftentimes people will donate to Muscular Dystrophy Canada thinking that they're donating to the Multiple Sclerosis Society or vice versa. People will donate to the MS Society thinking that they're donating to Muscular Dystrophy Canada. Um, and that costs a lot of valuable money that could be put towards things like research and equipment and education um, that otherwise is misappropriated. Um, so, the point that I'm really trying to drive home here is that it's important when talking about disabilities, not just MS and MD, but all health conditions, um, to know your facts. Um, we have addressed a lot of common misconceptions about a lot of health conditions on this series, and probably will continue to do so, um, all in hopes of helping people better understand the facts, because facts are important, especially when talking about uh, disabilities. So that brings me to the next thing that I want to talk about, which is MS treatments. Now, most people agree that there is currently no cure for multiple sclerosis. Um, that being said, there are a lot of treatments out there that are claimed to cure the disorder. Unfortunately, a lot of these medical claims are unsubstantiated. You may remember back in 2009, an Italian surgeon by the name of Dr. Paolo Zamboni proposed that multiple sclerosis was caused by blocked arteries in the neck and that it could be treated surgically. Now, this was very controversial for two reasons. Not only did it completely contradict everything that we currently understand about multiple sclerosis, um, multiple sclerosis is believed to be caused by the immune system attacking the nerve cells, um, not clogged arteries in the neck. Um, but also, 
the sample size for Dr. Zamboni's study was only 65 patients. And this is in no way me saying that the treatment is not effective, but rather that a lot more research is required to determine whether or not this is a viable treatment for people with the disorder. Um, the fact is, at this point in time, there is no known cure for multiple sclerosis, and there's no miracle treatment that cures it. Um, that being said, there are a lot of experimental treatments that are currently in development, and many of them look very promising. Um, one such treatment is stem cell therapy, um, and there's a lot of other treatments for MS that are currently being developed that also hold a lot of promise. So there is still hope, but at this point in time, there is no known cure for multiple sclerosis. Um, so that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. This obviously was a very short vlog, um, not a lot to talk about today, but I hope that I've cleared up a couple common misconceptions about multiple sclerosis. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you on Thursday.